Okay, we will begin now the press conference with Sergeant Critzel. If you have a question, please raise your hand. And we will begin with Michelle Kaufman, then Jose Rodriguez. Hello, Sergi. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Um, I wanted to ask you, you know, most of the conversation right now since last night is about uh, the fact that Leo and Sergio and, and Luis, have, you know, stayed back and are resting for this game. I'm just wondering in the preparation for this game against Vancouver, um, did you guys, do, when you were preparing this week for this game, were you preparing in two different scenarios as if those three are playing and then as if they're not playing or did you have an idea that maybe they wouldn't play? I'm just wondering how it affects the preparation of the team going into the game. Uh, if it's still up in the air, if it's still unknown, if three of the key players are going to be playing, how do you guys deal with that as a team? Thank you. Hi, thank you. Uh, no, we, we had training, regular training with uh, these guys. And uh, I think it's course tough decision because, you know, last month we had uh, a lot of muscles injuries and uh, we still have a uh, tough season. And uh, I think it's take care of uh, them healthy because in this week we will have three games and also this tough travel time zone difference. And I think it's like feel the better for the team. Jose, then Michael. Thanks, Rafa. Sergi, since, you know, Busi is not going to be available for you guys in the last few games, we have seen how Busi is able to move back and help you guys with the buildup a little bit more. Um, how do you envision um, Inter-Miami playing out of the buildup for this game? Um, does it put added pressure into you guys knowing that, um, you know, that there have been some mistakes, especially moving the ball out of the back uh, in previous games? Thank you. Uh, hi, uh, thank you. Um, I think, of course, it's world class player Sergio. This play with Sergio in the middle is much better for central backs. And uh, but they have fed, uh, he came back to the group, and uh, also they have a lot of good players who can replace Busi. And uh, I think it's uh, just as I said, uh, we need play without this player sometimes and I think we'll we'll be good. Michael then Franco. Hi Sergey, uh welcome to Vancouver first of all. Now this is your longest trip of the season and it's a very long flight. Everyone knows it can really drain you. Do you kind of equate trips like this to when you played with Shakhtar and like European games and how much does a long trip and adjusting to different time zones take out of you as a player? Uh, hi, thank you. Um, it was, in Jakarta, it was much, much longer because uh, we had to go by bus from Kiev to Poland and then we, we had flight for Champions League games. Of course, it's... It wasn't uh, really nice to fly to flu six six hours, um, especially with time different zone. But for, for me, it's it's okay. I'm used to. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Franco. Hey, sorry. Uh, two quick ones for you. Um, obviously, Nicolas Freire goes down with the injury for the season. That opens up a possibility, which you figure to. Step into. I mean, how big of opportunities for you to, to reclaim some minutes and get some more uh, regular playing time? Obviously, Aviles and Freda had been the, the go-to pairing in recent weeks. Um, and the second one related to you know Messi's absence and, and you guys being a global brand, right? Inter Miami has talked about being a global brand, and you guys play away games. And um, yes, there's a lot of turnout for those home teams that are hosting you guys, but there's a lot of Inter Miami fans that from those cities, right? You see people wearing the Inter Miami pink, you hear the Messi chants even in away games. Do you feel that the team has an obligation to communicate if Messi, especially Messi, is not going to be available for these away games, given how many international fans this team now has? Thank you, Sorry. Thank you, hi. Uh, about Nico, of course, it's set. Uh, it's, 
tough, tough injuries. I think it's like uh, worst part of football for 